Hey all, JB here again from Info Hut with today's little video on trying to identify the reason on why you're having issues with your touchscreen. In particular, a lot of people that do have issues won't be able to swipe left or right on certain areas or even certain buttons don't work. It's quite common, happens in all the models of iPhone. So let's have a look and start from the basic stuff and move our way up. So the basic things are, a lot of people would have tried this already, but for those that haven't, it's one, turn your phone off, shut it down and turn it off. Now, obviously for people that can't swipe at the top, uh, you might just have to let your battery run dead and then turn the phone off. Now, once that's done, uh, once again, we're dealing with the touch screen. So it could be something like there's stuff like food or debris stuck on the screen. So get a damp cloth, wipe it down, make sure it's really clean. And if it is, uh, try it again, see if that's fixed it. Unfortunately, with these types of fixes, it's very rare. Maybe in the earlier models, like the iPhone 6 and earlier, but coming towards the, the more modern models, it's, it's something that doesn't really fix those problems. And um, we need to go to the next step on, on most occasions. So what we need to do is we need to divide, there's three groups of phones that generally I see. The first phone is a phone that has been repaired before by a third party repairer, most of the time not Apple, where it might be cracked or even the screen isn't cracked at all. And uh, that, that type of phone is, and with those phones, when they do repair it, especially if it's a third party repairer, you'll see that uh, most of the time they're using refurbished or aftermarket screens. Now, obviously uh, re refurbished and aftermarket screens don't have the quality control Apple does and you can get dead spots on your phone. So you might be able to see that your screen's been working for say a month or so, a day, a week, whatever it is, and then all of a sudden you've got those dead spots. The best way to check that is, is uh, get your phone, unlock it, and what we're gonna do is, at the top here, we're just gonna drag this down. And as you can see, while I'm dragging it down, I'm moving my finger across and going up and down. Now, if there is a dead spot, what you'll see is when you go over that dead spot, it'll just flick up like that. So you can try it again, go to that area, and then if it flicks up again, it's a very good chance that the, the screen needs to be replaced. Or you need to take it back to the repair and just say, look, this is what's happening, happening with my phone. The same goes with the second group of people. A lot of the time you might have an original Apple screen. It has a cracked screen that's really small or hardly noticeable and eventually dead spots arise. And you might be thinking, oh, wait a minute, it was working before, the crack hasn't got bigger, but all of a sudden it stopped working. Well, with touch screens, eventually micro fractures and the more you press on it, the more you use it, uh, things tend to manifest a bit more. And when they do, you will get those dead spots that pop up. So it's not really any fault of, of the company or, or the screen itself. It's just that that crack has eventually gotten a bit worse, whether it's visual or not. So you need to take that into consideration where the next step is, obviously you'll have to look at repairing the phone and replacing the screen. And the third group of people is the people that have no crack on screen. They never replace their screen from Apple and all of a sudden this has popped up. Now those types of people, I highly recommend you contact Apple and you see if there's any type of coverage within your warranty or Apple Care and see how Apple can help you. Now I do know in most situations, uh, a screen, and I'm not gonna say all situations, a screen needs to be replaced. And when it does need to be replaced, it can be costly depending on the model you have. So the bad news is, is that if you've gotten this far in the video, in most cases, you will have to replace the, the screen itself. Now, uh, whether you take that to Apple or a third party, that's up to you, but you need to identify the possible cause and understand during the course of owning a phone, these things can arise. And um, unfortunately, sometimes that can be a cost involved. So if you do have any questions or any situations where you know, you're a bit confused with, drop a comment below and I'm more than happy to reply. And by all means, uh, 
Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Any questions you do have, once again, drop it below. Thank you.